Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from today's look, oh my gosh, I had so much fun doing this. It was a bitch to do at times, but um, you know, I feel like the festival makeup um, or the Coachella makeup, any of the any of the music festival makeup looks are somewhat similar. Um, a lot of people like to use like the little stick on stars and the jewels and you know glitter and things like that. So I was trying to do my own thing with this and not look at a lot of festival makeup. Yes, I've seen festival makeup a lot, but I wasn't like trying to like completely get ideas from it, which is hard to do, but you know what I mean. I was just trying to do my own thing with it and I love how it turned out. There was a couple times in this video that I was just a hot damn mess. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I wiped some of it off and did it again. So, uh, the struggle was real in this video. <laughs> I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, so therefore I will not be attending Coachella. I just stick to my Jimmy Buffett concert and that's what I do. So, I'm not sure where I would wear this, but, uh, I had a lot of fun doing it and I know it's like the thing on YouTube right now but who doesn't want to do these extreme looks you know I think sometimes the makeup looks or doing the same thing is it, it can get really repetitive and kind of boring to watch so to be able to just like dive in and do something crazy it's like yep that I'm there I'm doing it I'm jumping on that bandwagon and I'm doing a video on it too so I'm gonna stop talking now and let's just get right into this video. So the first thing as always, I'm gonna prime my skin and I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I basically put the Professional just like on my cheekbones and my chin and then I spray the rest of my face. Oh, this is when, <laughs> this is when my wedding song came on and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It just makes me so happy. So I had to uh, uh, do my little dance and then when I was spraying it, I sprayed it in my mouth and I must admit it does not taste very well. So moving on for foundation today, I'm gonna use the Hourglass. Oh yeah, I'm just showing you one of my lovely pimples on my face, but I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And what I like to do with this foundation is first stipple it into my face with a foundation brush and then take any kind of beauty sponge or beauty blender, real technique sponge, and further blend it in that way. I feel like this is the perfect way to do it and it gives a flawless finish every time. The concealer I'm gonna use is the NYX HD Concealer. And this is a little off on my skin tone, like the color is, but it, I make it work. Once it's blended out and I take my powder to it, it, it ends up working. So it might be a little off um, especially on camera. It doesn't look that off in person, but hey, it is what it is. And then, as you know, I'm setting with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And what I like to do is take my Kat Von D Locket Powder Foundation in light and just pack it underneath my eyes, kind of like doing the baking uh, method a little bit. I just like the full coverage underneath of my eyes. And then I like to take the MAC Studio Fix powder foundation and this is a little dark for me but I I know it doesn't look like it but I have been self tanning a little bit using like a gradual tanner by Jergens. so what I like to do is take a majority of it on the sponge and put it like where I would put my contour and then further blend it out on my face and then take a big stippling brush and just make sure everything is really well blended um, I think I spend the most time always blending everything here on my face and I'm just showing you that for my first video, I actually bought a mirror and I can use both hands. I'm not using a compact in this video. So I'm actually gonna take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to contour with today and get away from my chocolate Too Faced, or my Too Faced Chocolate Sole Bronzer. And I actually liked it this time. So it's so weird when you first try a product and you're just not a fan of it and then you use it again and you're like, why haven't I been using this? I like this product, it's crazy. So I'm just you doing the typical thing when you contour my, uh, on my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline, and of course my nose. Gotta do the nose, it's, it's just my thing, I can't help it. So then I'm gonna use this 
blush. I've never used it before, so I'm really careful at first. I think it's called Monocar. Manicar. Um, I'll put it down below. I'll put all the products down below. But um, I thought it was a really pretty color. I got it in my Ipsy bag last month, and I just, I really liked it. And what I wanted to do just for this look is kind of put it where I put all the contour, just to, I don't know, bronze me up and give me a little more color than I'm used to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face to set everything. And I know in a lot of videos, I don't show me doing my brows. Um, this is one of the first times I'm not using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I think this brow pencil is from Maybelline or L'Oreal. I forget which one. But I was doing my brows a little different in this video. This is why I'm showing it. I'm making them more bushy, more thicker. Um, just making them look different, shaping them different, making them more bushy in the front. And I really liked how it turned out. So after like half an hour of that, <laughs> moving on. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and start with the shade Peaches and Cream. And just like usual, kind of using it as a transition shade and just putting it all over my eyelid and taking it pretty far up um, to my brow bone. This next shade is called Just Peachy, and I'm basically gonna concentrate this shade into my crease, and I think I take this about two or three times just to build up that color and really just make it pop and bring it out a little bit. At this point, I really didn't know what I was doing with this look, so I'm just kind of going with the flow. This next shade is called Georgia, and I'm basically putting this just on my eyelid and then further blending it up to meet the shade just peachy. And, um, then I just kind of figured, you know, why not? I really didn't want to go in with like a winged liner. So I took Talk Derby to me and just took that on a little pre precision brush, kind of just putting it where I would put eyeliner. But I kind of had planned to put glitter there all along. So you'll see further in the video that I end up just putting glitter over this shade anyway. Now this I actually got back in September, October for Halloween and I never used it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for this look. So I'm really, really glad I kept it. Now I'm just gonna use these little jewels and there's three different sizes and these are the little baby mini ones. And I'm just kind of obviously starting on the one eye. I probably could have done the other eye first, but nay, you know, it is what it is. But I just start placing them and shaping them around my eye. Um, these did have like sticky like once you peeled it off the package it had its own like little sticky tacky um, stuff on the back of it just to be able to put it to stick it to your face some of them when I took them off uh, the sticky part came off so I just used clear um, eyelash glue to put them on but I'm just kind of shaping it around um, you know my eyebrow and my eye shape and whatever but um, this was a process, so this definitely took a little while to do, and I kind of um, switch it up a little bit, go back and move some of them, but it ends up not working in my favor, and you'll see why. Me being the perfectionist I am, I had to move that green one, and then boom, it drops. I could not find it forever, and then I found it. I was so flippin' excited because it took me forever to find it. So I did have to take some clear lash glue and glue him back on, but um, it, I definitely liked how or where I put it the second time better than the first time. And then I end up doing the same thing with a different jewel and lo and behold, um, it pops off too. So unfortunately, I could not find this purple one to save my life and that <laughs> that obviously makes me really sad. That was like a 15 minute process. I was like, how can I not find this purple jewel? But I'm like, you know what? Let's just deal with it um, and figure it out. And I figured let's just go ahead and put a pink one on because there wasn't two more purple ones and I wanted both the eyes to have the same colors going on each eye, which I don't know why, but whatever. That's what I wanted, and I was going to do that because I, once I have my mindset on something, I can't change it. But we went with another pink one. 
So here is where I take um, NYX uh, glitter eyeliner in aqua. And I like, I had a vision in my head of what I wanted to do, but it ends up, what am I doing here? Like seriously? Yeah, get back to the makeup. Okay, so I'm like, this is just too like precise. I wanna like mess it up. I want it to be like messy and glitter just kinda like all over the place. So I just keep going back and forth and doing this, like adding some of the glitter and um, like brushing it out. And here you see me taking silver glitter and adding it to it, but it just, I don't know. I, I, I did not like it. It just didn't look right. Um, so I do end up taking this off because I don't know, it just doesn't look right. But I figured I would put jewels underneath of my eyes, like in the center there. Um, I end up taking that off too. But um, I don't know, it just didn't, it wasn't doing it for me. Although, what I said before with doing the shadow on the top, I end up putting gold on there and I really did like that. So I kept that. I kept, one thing I did keep was that. I'm lining my waterline with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rust, and I absolutely love this color. It is just beautiful. I, if you've seen other videos of mine, I said that um, Rust is one of my favorite colors, so I just loved it. And what I was doing there is just pausing and basically telling you that I'm just going to go ahead and pop my lashes on. Um, so what I did, as you can see, I, I redid all that. I did not want that under my eyes. So um, I smoked out my lash line with the rust shade also. And then here I'm just adding that aqua, but I guess I am being more precise here and just leaving it right underneath the where I smoked out that rust shade under my eyes. And then I'm just adding um, more glitter on top just to make it pop more. Now what I'm doing with this gold um, glitter, gold NYX glitter um, liner, basically to, what it reminds me of is like, you know, like the sun and like sun shines, like the sun rays. So I'm just taking it and just swiping it downward. I just keep doing that and building it up basically to the intensity that I want. And then I kind of flatten out that brush. I get a lot of the product on it and just kind of flatten it out and it just it works way better that way now i'm adding some mascara and this is too faced better than sex mascara and i'm being really careful on my bottom lashes because i don't want to take away from it so i'm not adding too much to my lower lashes i wanted something else i didn't want to go above my brow or do anything really too crazy so i'm like let's take the medium blue sized um jewels and put them there but as you can see I'm kind of like hmm do I like it do I not like it do I want to do something else so then I put the other one on and make the decision from there and then finally I'm like you know what I like it let's keep it it's a, yeah it's a good thing for it I like it <laughs> so this next thing I'm gonna do because I didn't put the jewels there I decided to take some NYX liquid liner in white obviously and put some dots you know just uh, first they were small too small and then I went back and kept making them a little bigger to how however big I wanted them you can go bigger you can go smaller but I liked the size it just gave it a little oomph if you will for my highlight I'm using Luna baked highlighter in the shade Calypso and this just was the perfect highlighter for this look I love it it has like Different lighting shows different colors of it. So it's not really just one color. So I just thought, oh, this is like the perfect highlighter for this kind of look. So I put it in all the normal places, my cheekbones, my nose, and my Cupid's bow. And then of course I gotta put it on my collarbones and make this face, cause I don't know, I'm just extra like that. And then I figured, eh, let's put it on my shoulders too. So I'm gonna line my lips with Milani's Nude Lip Pencil. And then I couldn't choose between two uh, liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. They're the Melted Liquid Lipsticks. And one is in the shade Chihuahua. And then the other one is in the shade Metallic Peony. But um, I start with 
the Chihuahua shade and put that all over my lips. And then I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So I go in with Chihuahua and I start kind of, I'm thinking to put it in the center, but then I'm like, eh, let's just put it all over. Why not? Let's just mix it too. And I really liked the way that it looked when they both were mixed. And then I'm like, let's just go a little extra step and put some of that highlighter on my lips. So I just kind of put that in the center of my lips, um, which I thought gave a really cool effect. And then after I do this, I spray my face again, and this will complete the look. So this is the final look. As you can see, that the I, I was driving the struggle bus the whole time. I was the driver of the big time struggle bus, and you guys were the, my passengers, and uh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes I think that things turn out for the best in the end, so maybe, me losing those little jewels, I, maybe if I used them, I wouldn't have come up with other things to use, you know what I mean? So like, it was meant to be, it was meant to happen. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. I had, this is probably one of my favorite looks that I've done, no joke. Um, I love it, I, it's, I've never done anything like this before, so. It was a lot of fun to do, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.